Hey guys, TechMinter with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to hard reset your Apple Watch Ultra without losing any data. And that's something you want to do if you're having any issues, whether it's frozen, unresponsive, isn't working correctly. You want to do this one trick to fix it. So in order to hard reset it, you're going to locate the crown and this side button right here. You're going to press and hold both of the buttons for about 10 seconds or so or until the screen goes completely black and you see the Apple logo up here. At that time, you'll let go of both of the buttons. So let's go ahead and press and hold. So as you can see, I'm pressing and holding both of the buttons at the same time. Just keep on holding it. It has to be at the same time and we're going to wait for the Apple logo to appear. And once I see the Apple logo, I let go of it. As you saw here, it wasn't the Apple logo screen. It took about probably five seconds or so for the black screen to show the Apple logo. But you want to do this. It's a hard reset or so another force restart. Basically, it shuts down the software on your Apple Watch and then reloads the code to fix any software hardware related issue. Now, you can do this as many times as you need to till it's fixed. And if you don't get the hang of it the first time, you want to keep on trying it until it works. Sometimes if you do it the first time, you might notice you might have accidentally pressed one button before the other because it has to be at the same time. So it takes a little bit of practice to do. So go ahead and try it. And hopefully after you do that, your Apple Watch Ultra or any Apple Watch you have is fixed. Again, the same exact process. Just hold both of the buttons at the same time, just like that, as you can see here. And it might pop up with something on the screen. Just ignore it and keep on holding it just like that, as you can see here. Again, doing it a few times doesn't hurt. Each time it just basically shuts down the software and then reloads the code. And basically it's one little step further than just a normal trying to turn it off because sometimes when, you, when it's frozen or unresponsive or stuck, it doesn't even want to turn off. So you need to do this method. Again, completely safe and Apple's number one troubleshooting step when it comes to fixing most software hardware related issue on your Apple Watch. And I hope this video was helpful. If so, please do consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your Apple Watch and other iOS devices. See you guys next time.